Good morning. This is Mrs. Durham. Um, I am creating a tutorial for accent. So I'm going to be starting with violin one and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen right now. Okay. And you guys are fine on the first page pretty much. I want to go to the second page right now. Okay. All right. So here we go. Okay. So I want to jump from 55 until the end. So if I scroll back, and this is how I want you to be practicing. So the first thing that I do is when I'm practicing, I'm looking through the whole piece and I want to see is there any parts that repeat, right? Because as we've been talking about, if I can do it the first time, I can do it again. So I'm noticing this section from the beginning to 15 is the same, right? Those parts are repeating. And then 17 through um, 24, there's a little bit of a change, right? Not much, but just a tiny bit of change. And then if I look again, 25 through 31 is the same thing, okay? So then I'm looking like, okay, yes, 32 through 36, there's a slight change, um, but nothing too big, right? So I'm like, okay, I have a couple measures where the measures change a little bit. Then I'm gonna skip ahead and I'm noticing that 55 repeats, okay? So at 62, there's a slight change, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start at 55, okay? Exactly what we've done. And then I'm gonna go from 62 to 69. Now, the other thing that I always do is I wanna highlight. So for example, right here, it says pits, so pizzicato, right? So we're plucking our string. We're planning ahead, okay? Okay, so 55 to the end. So we have rest, 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 rest. Rest, rest. Right. We know that part, okay? That part's repeating. So when I'm here, my eyes are already on 62. So I'm planning ahead, okay? So 62. Right? So if we're, you know, making a mistake, I'm going to do the first four notes here. I'm going to do the next section. And then I'm putting it together. Okay. Then I'm on 63. So right here, if you notice, I'm already on the E string. So I'm already prepared to go. Okay. So 63. So I'm going to do that again. Now, one thing I want to point out, and this is where we're continuing to talk about patterns, it's so important. So if I take this note away, these notes, these notes are exactly the same, right? So I'm literally going from low two, and in measure 64, I'm going to tape one, right? So if I can play this pattern first, I'm literally just adding this note here, okay? Okay, so here's 63. So I feel really comfortable about that. So now I'm gonna go from 62 through 64, okay? So it's gonna sound like this. Notice I'm keeping my fingers really close to the finger board. Okay? Now, here's 65. Do that again. And I want to make sure I'm going to count how many open A's am I doing. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So 
Ready? Okay, so now, this down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go from 66 to the end. And if you notice right here, okay, we're pretty much doing all the notes on open A. Everything's open A except for tape one here. Okay, so 66 to the end. <laughs> Rest, rest. And then I keep my ball. Okay, so I want to go to one more section. Okay, so after 15, it changes slightly, just a little bit. So this is easy for you guys. We're just doing open D. Okay. And then this changes just a little bit, but again, what am I noticing first? Measure 17, measure 19 are the same, right? 18 and 20 are very similar, okay? And then if I go here, oh, 17, 19, 21 are the same, okay? Now this is a little bit of change, so 22 through 24. So I'm going to play from here to 24 just so you can hear it, and so you'll be able to practice this at home. Okay, so here's 17. <laughs> Where the difference is, where things are the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop my share. Okay, so one thing that I wanna show you. So we wanna keep our fingers really close to the fingerboard. So that we, I'm just able to put my fingers down. The other thing is sometimes I'm seeing some of you and you're here wrapped. You see how my hand, it's wrapped around the fingerboard. So wherever my hands are, okay, I'm keeping it nice and close, right? So you can see how fast I'm going, okay? So as always, if you have any um, questions, please let me know and I will help you um, before we have rehearsal. All right, I hope this helps and have an amazing weekend.